Hi everybody, Mike back again to kind of go over how to do the CO2 adjustment. If you want to get into it, come on in, we'll get started real quick. As we change or put the units in, they're already set from the factory on the gas valves, but if you change a gas valve, you have to, you know, more likely you're going to have to do the adjustment. If you start to get a little rumbling, definitely if you're putting in a propane conversion, you know, swapping it over, but your I.O. manual will let you know how to do it in each step. Got a few tools sitting out here already ready to go. Combustion analyzer. We've got it turned on and warmed up. Just screwdrivers and number two Allen wrench. So get you a long screwdriver. It makes life easy for you. It's going to get a little loud hooking this thing up, so you just have to bear with me. I put a port up here to make it easier for checking the combustion instead of doing it like they're talking about in the I.O. manual down here putting in the, taking all this loose and putting your combustion analyzer in through here, you're just gonna get a lot of condensation running across your equipment. But you do what you wanna do. I drilled a hole and tapped it and put my little plug in there. Let's go back up here and start the process. If you look in your I.O. manual here, in your table of contents, it shows you down here at the bottom how to adjust the CO2 level. Got a couple pages here. I've already got it pre-marked. So to make it a little faster, Basically, you want to read each one of these pages step by step while you're doing this process. We're just going to make our way through it, show you how to do it, and good luck reading. All right, here we go. We're going to start with high fire first. We're drawing water. You have to be able to turn a fixture on, something that draws enough water to get enough gallons per minute for the, per the I.O. manual. We have that now. We want to go into the mode so we can set it up. I'm going to hold this button for five seconds. You can see it's jumping in here. I'm gonna hit the button until I get to high CO. See it right there? Okay, this thing's gonna get itself started. You'll hear it modulating up and down. And basically, I'm gonna unscrew this plug I have up here in my PVC exhaust, and I'm gonna take my little holder there, tap it into it, we're going to stick this in about center ways so that's where that's going to be we're going to let it start monitoring it and we're going to watch what our high fire gets to my little combustion analyzer we can actually print what we see here so we can prove that we did our job and made it safe it takes a few minutes for them to actually settle out and and you can read what your co2 is if you look right here, I've already set, went through it here and I got it adjusted. And we have to make sure that we follow the range in the I.O. manual. And right now, it's showing us here, for high fire, we need to be, for natural gas, 8.8 .8 to 9.1%, less than 200 parts per million. When we print this out, it'll tell us what our parts per, parts per million will be at. They usually want you to run this about three minutes I already know this one's set up pretty good, but I'm gonna, it's gonna get loud. I'm gonna show you the adjustment screws and the pages that you need to look at here as far as the pictures on the next page. If you see that arrow, that is your high fire adjustment screw. It tells you which way to turn it in those notes. That is your low fire adjustment screw and it explains to you which way to turn it in those notes. So, knowing that, don't mess with any other screws. They're not adjustable really. You just need the high fire and low fire if you do it you need to make small increments, not a lot long turns, maybe quarter turns starting off on your high fire, a lot smaller turns, just barely, barely turning on your low fire. Okay, here goes the noise. This looks like it could be a pain in the butt to get to, but they're all the way back there, okay? They're really not a pain in the butt to get to if you have long screwdrivers and a long Allen wrench. So if you're going to do this, you really ought to get the tools to make your life easier. I have a little screwdriver, it's pretty long. And basically, I just go behind all of the electronics to that upper port right there so I can make my adjustments, whether it be high or low. And you can see I am underneath that black silver bracket with the black uh, gas valve harness connection. That's our high fire. 
the low fire torque. I go behind all that again, and there's not a lot of room, and so you could actually utilize a smaller one, or just pop this out and let it hang down out of your way, but that little bitty one right there in the front, I'll point at it, right there is the one that you would adjust. I might be able to get on it, but I can't see right there. Second, I'm gonna go around. There, I can get on it right there, so we'll be able to do this one pretty easy. Let's check it out, see what we have. It's been running now for a couple minutes. I'm at 8.96, so we're within that 8.8 to 9.1, so we should be good on the high fire. To check low fire, all you have to do now is throttle up or down, and this thing will, and make sure you can push the button. There it is. Um, throttling up did it. Now it's going to set itself in a low fire. We know we're calling for our, our water gallons per minute. So we're just going to give this a couple minutes and you'll see this adjust right here. And if we're in our range, we don't have to make any adjustments. If we're not, we'll fine tune that high low fire little two millimeter Allen head screw port. Always make sure when you're doing your combustion, you know, these are set from the factory. You have a, a propane natural gas dip switch in here. Just make sure you have your dip switch set right for natural gas or propane before you start the process. Or if you've converted it over to propane, you want to do this like we were saying earlier. Um, pretty simple. All the steps are in the I.O. manual and any time you need any help, you can always call the techs at the factory and they'll help you. Very nice folks, willing to help in any way they can. Give them a call on that. Let's see where we are. We're starting to starting to move around here and starting to get it regulated. Remember, we want 8.6 to 8.9. We're right in there. I'm liking it. So as far as setting up the combustion on this unit, this one is completed. And I'll tell you something that we did. We just put a brand new gas valve out of the box in this unit. I didn't even have to adjust it, so you don't always have to adjust them. Just remember to check them. Thank you, have a great day. I'm just gonna dismantle all the tools. Call if you need us, it's a great product. Have a good day.